Welcome back everyone to another video. Today I'm going to show you my homemade Lego combine. Okay, so this combine is about four-ish years old. Um, I've kind of remodeled it over the years, but um, this is probably version, I, uh, let me think, five? Yeah, this is, no, version six, I'm sorry. This is version six here of this combine. Um, just going to kind of show you a little bit of kind of how I made uh, each part of it. The lights here are kind of interesting. I couldn't find the exact same color of everything, but that is okay. Um, just kind of added more detail and stuff over the years, um, especially here at this header. But first, we're going to take a little bit closer look at here at this combine. So this combine is probably, I'd probably say between 500 to 700 pieces would be my guess. So, just starting here with the cab and the front of it, um, I've already mentioned the lights and the mirrors are kind of interesting that I made. The feeder house is an interesting story. This is, you guys can see that pretty pretty darn well. Um, I could not make it to where it was closed in. This is the best I could do to where the feeder house would be able to move up and down. Um, the tires are, I don't remember what set they're from, but they are pretty darn old tires and they are big. The ladder I added not too long ago. I did add some more detail in the cab, uh, so you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that yellow joystick there right behind the um, computer and stuff. And then there's a chair in there, and there's a steering wheel, um, and that's pretty much it for the cab. And there are green sides here, I don't know if, how well you guys can see that, but right in here, right there, and there are green kind of pieces, like cushions almost, to just kind of keep it, I guess, more comfortable in there, but uh, that's the cab. Okay, starting from this side of it here, I do have the auger. Um, originally, I did not have an auger on this combine. This was one of the hardest things for me to make, even though it is pretty simple though, but I just did not know how to build it in, so I just decided to add an extension out here and just make it to where it could hold itself. And then I did have to rework some, some of this here, but that's also when I completely remodeled the back here of this engine and I did add these pieces here. I also have remodeled, Pretty much everything on this combine I have remodeled from its original version. Um, so the cab, or the uh, grain bin, I'm not sure how big it is. I believe it's a 4x4x... It's a four by four by, um, I want to say 5? 4x4x5 brick length. So I don't... I've done my calculations and in real life that would be a 200 bushel bin. 250 bushel bin around... Um, so just kind of looking here at the other sides, just some other minor details. Um, these, these here just kind of hold this up, and then it's just a giant box here in the middle. And then uh, I do have the cooling fan here for the engine. It does kind of spin, but it kind of catches here on this. These back wheels will, were a little bit pain to make um, as far as design and looking good. Um, and then just kind of here, a closer view at the back. It's just pretty simple. So just some more air vents here for it. Um, the auger, in case if you're wondering, does fold out like this. Um, it, it, it does wobble a lot and stuff, but I think it does look kind of cool. Um, I will have to fix that. Give me a sec. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of just what the auger looks like. I did it, made it pretty simple design, kind of like I said earlier, as far as the auger. Everything else was just kind of hard to make because of the way that I designed it. Um, I'll just kind of flip this over without trying to break anything. Um, so the bottom, I really wanted to make look good, so I kind of made it have these side he these sides here, and it's all supported on this one on this one giant uh, black piece here. And then these back wheels here is what this looks like. I tried to make a straw spreader, but it did not work well. I just ended up putting two things like that. And then I do have the hitch pin, which I made, which just connects in there like that. And, uh, yes, these are torpedo launchers, or this one is right here. You can put a torpedo in there. Why? That's the only, that's the piece I found when I was making it. Um, other than that, I really like this combine. I love the way it turned out. My first model was just, I believe it was about, about this much bigger than this one. And so, uh, this is a lot more stabler. The first one I made, or the first few I made actually weren't very stable at all. They were just horrible and uh, they kind of just fell apart. And I did try making a header for the first one, but I just kind of forgot about it. I didn't, 
I just couldn't do it. But recently I came up with a new design for the header. Okay, so moving on to the header and the header trailer. Um, the most recent thing is this header trailer. This header is about, um, it just, um, it's almost uh, two weeks old uh, that I built it. Uh, I did, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's there's some, there's a black, uh, I don't know what you call it. There's two of them, there's one long one, and then there's a small one that ends here and it connects, and then I just added some simple things. In case if you're wondering, this is a stripper header. Um, so stripper headers just take off the heads of the plant, like if wheat or canola or whatever it is that you want to harvest, except corn. I know this can't really do corn. That's what. That's why they made a corn header. Just a simple design. Stack that piece on there for the combine to be able to hold it. And then uh, just some other flat pieces just to make it more interesting and not so dull. Um, these pieces here. It's a pretty simple design overall. I really like the way this turned out. Just added some random pieces here just to make it look kind of unique and different in its own way. If they were all the same color, I think they would look a, li a lot better, but, you know, as for having a ton of pieces forever and not remembering what piece goes with, with what, you kind of just start creating stuff on your own. And, but yeah, that's the fairly new stripper header. <laughs> and then the trailer here uh, is the newest one. It's a little, it's about two days younger than this header here. Um, just a simple design, just snapped a pin in there like that, and I added this blue in thing here because the header would fall down even further, and it it would just bump it all the time, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be level with the combine hitch pin. That's something I do struggle with when I make these kind of trailers and stuff. But just added a, some simple pieces here to keep the header from moving around. So very 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 simple. This piece back here does move, so I can twist it up or down depending on. Uh, like if there's a hill or something, it does kind of push the header a little bit. In real life, you wouldn't have that, but I gotta work with what I gotta work with. So it didn't need two. It doesn't need uh, four wheels. It only needs two because it's a small stripper header. Um, it is a simple uh, header trailer, and then this just moves up and down for the. Um, I forget what you call it. I'm an idiot. I cannot remember the name of it, but it just holds it that way. That way, that it just doesn't, doesn't go kaplat. So. Yeah, pretty simple design. So the way it kind of fits on the, the uh, header here, this pin keeps it from sliding this way and from coming out this way as well. And then this back piece keeps it from sliding backwards. And then just simple, this piece here keeps it from falling forward. Um, pretty simple design when you do level this out. Ugh, again, you gotta be kidding. So as I, as I was trying to say earlier, one thing that I did not pay attention to, but I'm glad it, it kind of worked out, is um, they're level with each other. So the header, or the, not the header, but the uh, header trailer is level, is high enough and low enough that the combine can reach over it. Um, and it doesn't, and this pin, this little, I, where is it? The little silver pin right here does not affect it because the combine can just lift up the header. It can lift it up a little bit more over it and the combine can just back out so that's one thing that i am glad that it did work out awesomely um but yeah now i'm going to show you what it looks like with the header on the combine okay so the header is a little bit heavy for the feeder house here the feeder house does it can hold it up in the air if i set something underneath the header like a little thing the feeder house will be able to hold it but it is a little bit heavy so i just have to keep it down for the most part but it, it Overall, the header does, it looks a little interesting, not being a, being able to see through the feeder house and not having glass here. It does make the combine look a little bit weird, but again, making glass here is a pain in the butt. If I, ma if I can make my own custom Lego glass, I would make it to where it would fit this, which would be pretty darn cool. But yeah, the header is uh, pretty much the same length, a little bit wider than the tires, but not quite as big as... Uh, it's about pretty much the same as far as the ladder. The ladder wouldn't really do any damage other than just simply push the crops over just a little bit for so that so that way when you turn on on the next pass it, you you would be able to see where the where the, where it was it push in it would push it down a little bit but it wouldn't affect it that much in real life anyway as far as I'm aware of but um the header you can, it, it will the feeder house will not quite hold the header up on its own in real life the header would not be touching the ground um it would be kind of high kind of about about yay high off the ground about a foot off the ground a foot or two and then uh, it would take off the heads so 
that's how, kind of how it would work. Um, the bottom of the header, I forgot to show you, it does have, uh, or I already did show you, but it does kind of flatten it out. So when you push it, it, do, it does make a little scraping noise, but it's not as bad as it used to be because there is a small flat piece under there that kind of soothes it out. And so I kind of designed that on purpose. That way it wouldn't scratch this wood and stuff. But it does look cool overall. And I'm really happy the way this turned out. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and just kind of uh, seeing uh, just kind of how my Lego Combine turned out in the header and trailer. Um, I'm really proud of the way that all of these turned out. And uh, I hope to, I will show you other implements. Someone asked me if I can make a video about my implements. Don't worry, that is coming soon, probably a week after this video. I try not to upload too often anymore because the views aren't, uh, I'm not expecting as many views anymore since I haven't gotten as many views as I've hoped. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, let me know if uh, you've ever attempted to make anything out of Legos as far as, you know, farming implements or, s or farming machines. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe so that way you guys don't miss any new videos that are released here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later.